I'm Taylor. I'm a software engineer here at Dolt Hub, and I'm mostly focused on building Dolt Hub's web application. Today, I'm going to tell you about how Dolt Hub is the Figma of databases. Dolt Hub is a web-based UI to share, discover, and collaborate on Dolt databases. We use Figma, which is a popular collaborative interface design tool, to work with our designer, Jan, on designs for our website. Figma significantly improved how we handled our design workflow by making the process more transparent, collaborative, and unbreakable. Our goal at Dolt Hub is to bring these same qualities to your database. If we travel back in time, we can remember a different way of sharing information. If you need to share a document with a member on your team, you email it. If your coworker needs to make changes to your file, they make edits and email it back. Now you have two versions of your file. Add more people to the feedback process and the number of versions of this file is growing exponentially. Which file has the most up-to-date information? You can't really tell. Fast forward a few years and companies are trying to solve the file problem. GitHub and Google Docs emerge to make it easier to collaborate on code and documents at the same time. Then JavaScript is having a moment and user interfaces become more of a priority for websites. Sketch is born and web design takes off. The file problem makes a comeback in design, and eventually Figma shows up to save the day. Now back to the present. GitHub, Google Drive, and Figma are staples at many companies and institutions. Collaboration and sharing can now be done through the browser in real time. Details of changes are tracked, and anything can be rolled back to an older version. Sending files around via email has become a collaboration tool of the past. Except, what about your database? Databases are these big, scary, centralized things that everyone is afraid to touch. One bad query and you can cause irreparable damage. We've progressed sharing so many other forms of information, so why is your database so far in the past? When we started Dolt in 2018, we first needed a database you could collaborate on, which included making it look more like a file. You could take a copy of Dolt and send it to your friend. Your friend could make changes and send it back. Similar to Git, Dolt has version control, solving the who did what when problem of emailing files. Once Dolt existed, we wanted to make data more accessible by putting it on the internet. So we created Dolt Hub, a modern web-based UI for your Dolt database that anyone can use. Figma in particular is cool because it has the quality of a desktop application, but in the browser. It's the first of its kind and people didn't think it could be done. We think Dolt Hub is the Figma of databases. We want to take databases into the modern era of browser-based collaboration. There are a few attributes that make this possible, and Figma sums them up well with five major adjectives. Collaborative, borderless, transparent, community-driven, and open-sourced. Dolt Hub wants a future where data is also these things. Here's how we're making it happen. Dolt Hub is collaborative, similar to how many people can work on a design file at the same time multiple people can work on the same data set at the same time. We modeled our pull request workflow after Git. A user can make a change, create a pull request to be reviewed by a member of the team, and then merge the changes to the main or production branch. If conflicts arise from two people making a change to the same cell or row, they can be viewed and resolved manually. Databases can be easily shared among many people without needing to ask which version is best. Dolt Hub is borderless. Figma wants to make design more accessible to everyone, and we want the same for data. We're continually adding features to Dolt Hub to lower the bar for people who may not be as familiar with SQL or Git. Don't know the SQL statement for deleting a row? Click a button instead and the SQL will be generated for you. You can learn SQL while playing around with data on Dolt Hub. And the best part is that it's very difficult for beginners to make a major mistake. With easy rollback, any change can be undone. This means more people can be involved in the data process and learn as they go. Dolt Hub is transparent. Both Figma and Dolt Hub have source control, meaning that you can see who made changes to what when. On Dolt Hub, commits and pull requests are a great way to document changes to data. They often include sources and motivation for changes, making data and where it came from more transparent. We also have issues where users can re easily report bugs, feature requests, or other ways the data can be improved. If someone makes a bad change, you can track it to the commit and revert it. Teach the offender what they did wrong so they don't make the same mistake again. 
This greatly minimizes guessing for why the data is the way it is. Dolt Hub is community driven. Not only do we have a thriving Discord community, but we have fostered a community of enthusiastic data hunters and gatherers through data bounties. We pay people to find data and put it in the Dolt format. These data sets are completely open to the public and free to download and share. Our data bounty participants have created 10 sought after and relevant databases so far with more to come. They include databases of hospital prices, police agencies, and US businesses. Participants can learn technical skills through this process while getting paid for their contributions. Dolt Hub is open source. Our Dolt code on GitHub is open source and can be viewed by anyone. Similar to Git's commitment to being free and open source, we also wanted to guarantee that you can trust our software and that it will always be free to share and change. We have plans to make an open source Dolt Hub, aka Dolt Lab, analogous to GitLab, in the next year or so, so stay tuned. We love Figma and we're creating a similar web interface in the browser, but for data. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more, you can reach out to us on Discord. Mm -hmm.